Hello, welcome to Dimension Quest. In my last video, I got PFSense set up in my VMware workstation, but I did not proceed with doing the upgrade. So for today's video, let's uh, make this real quick. We'll go ahead and load up the dashboard for our PFSense Community Edition VM here. And we see that there is a new version available. So let's click the little download button. And we are working with the development branch because this is a daily build. So current base system is that build, and we can see that the build that is latest is different. So we'll click on confirm. And we'll just let that go here. I'll fast forward. Okay, we can see that the VM is rebooting. Okay, it looks like our VM is back up and running, so we'll switch back over to our Ubuntu VM so we can look at the UI. And since the reboot took place, we do have to log back in. All right, we can see that it immediately checked for a new version, and there isn't any, so it does let us know that the system is on the latest version. Okay, that was a quick and simple video on how to upgrade your PFSense VM when you are running a development version or if you're simply trying to keep your VM updated. If you want to avert any kind of risk, one of the things that you may want to do prior to doing your upgrade is take a snapshot of your VM. So you would do a graceful shutdown of your VM here and then you'd right click, select snapshot and click on take snapshot. And you would name it something like before upgrade. You'd click OK. Proceed with your upgrade. And if anything were to go wrong, you could just come back in here and right click, snapshot, and revert to snapshot before upgrade. Once you've confirmed that everything is good and in working order, you come into your snapshot manager and delete your snapshots. Because you don't need to have these hanging around taking up drive space. Okay, and that will wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.